that 70s show is the best American sitcom I've ever watched uh, since either either my local TXA 21 or Comedy Central channels. Well, anyways, maybe I must have heard that from Comedy Central the most because I can't even remember uh, much which first channel that I just watched that that involves with that uh, that 70s show that I just watched for the first time ever. And also, uh, when I was when I was little, I didn't even like uh, like that show much. But nowadays, uh, since uh, late November 2017, I mean October 2017, I'm starting to get along with that funny American sitcom. <laughs> yeah, th these th five of six of these peeps named uh, Kelso, Eric. Uh, uh, Jackie, Fez, and Donna, and I forgot what's that guy, what's that guy's name with that Rolling Stone shirt? Yeah, I'm sorry. Wait, is I just don't know, like, I just don't know much of it since I never uh, learned anything about it. So I'm just giving you the reasons, reasons uh, why I like this show as hard as I can in this shit. So anyways... These six people were hanging out in the basement, <laughs> talking about shit, and also, I kind of like, I mostly like Fez because he's really a funny guy with a, with a Native American accent or some shit, always hanging out, <laughs> going around the fucking restaurant and, and arcades, and I remember that they went to the Ted Nugent concert and... <laughs> Fez just <laughs> oh, I remember I remember the episode where Fez and and Stephen Hyde yeah okay so now I remember Stephen Hyde that guy with the Rolling Stone shirt I remember the episode of uh, one of those episodes that where uh, Stephen Hyde and Fez got arrested for, for whatever they must have did. I forgot to explain. It, just because it said Tad Nugent <laughs> instead of Ted Nugent. <laughs> God damn it, Fez. <laughs> damn it, Fez. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Oh, and I also remember uh, remember funny moments. Also, I remember funny moments of that show where Kelso uh, mistakenly fall and sprained his fucking arm, and then he accidentally uses his arm, which is injured. Yeah, maybe his right one, I think. And. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they got caught for after this shit. I mean, before, before Kelso went to the fucking hospital. <laughs> and also, and I also remember the scene where Fez said that he had to go to go back to which country he was born at after uh, by the time graduation is over, and he just said some kind of. Uh, Gibberish. <laughs> Shit. I don't know. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> oh, this said cop is very funny. And I also remember Fez said that, Give me back my candy, you son of a bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? I like Fez the most, man. Fez is a funny guy and... Wilbur, and also my honest opinion towards uh, Red, I I I don't even like or hate him much. I'm neutral towards this guy, and also his wife Kitty. Yeah, what kind of name is that? I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to act butthurt or some of that shit. But what kind of what kind of a wife named is that? Kitty Foreman? No, uh, no, I just, I just never heard anyone named, 
I just never heard of any girl named Kitty before. So, yeah, it was based on the, based from the 1970s in the past and some shit. But, and I also remember the episode where, uh, where actually maybe around, around 2004 or 5 or 6, where they also smoked, dr they did drugs. <laughs> well, after, after they did drugs, Red just told, um, four people to get that, get out of the basement and get into the kitchen or some shit. Yeah, after that, I was, <laughs> yeah, Kelso, Fez, and Stephen Hyde, and including Eric, were s seeing shit that, that's from uh, one of those drugs, <laughs> where his head is fucking floating, where the head, heads are floating and <laughs> doing, <laughs> oh my fucking god. They, they also just, uh, just stared at a Twinkie. Stephen Hyde was staring at a fucking Twinkie. Oh, I haven't seen why, what's this about yet? Shit. All right. So, set in the Mood Ring and Polister era of the 1970s, the series is a retro hip situation comedy about electric group of friends on the verge of adulthood. They live on the suburbs of Wisconsin. They, where they yearn for independence amid the growing pains of becoming adults. Yeah, that 70s show is American television period sitcom that originally aired on Fox from August 23rd, 1998. Yeah, one month after I was born. And, well, too bad that this, that show got, got defunct in May 18th, 2006. So that's very sad of people who are the fans of that 70s show. Yeah, and I'm also sad that Eric got sent to Africa by his father, Eric Foreman, uh, maybe at the end of the semi-season finale or some shit, yeah, after they're doing drugs and, yeah, I don't know, it, it's gotta be season 8 or season 7, so yeah, that really sucked, and I gotta admit, season 8 of that 70s show wasn't that good without Eric, I don't know if Eric could, did, did arrive at the end of the season finale or some shit. I don't know. I really need to watch some more that semi show episodes. Oh, I see. So, season 8 of that semi show is the only uh only season without the show star Topher Grace who portrayed Eric Foreman. So, the central character since he left the series at the end of the previous season, Eric was often mentioned throughout the season. Even being an important offstage character central to an episode's plot upon occasion. Topher Grace returned as Eric for the final episode, although his role was brief and uncredited. Well, I gotta admit, I really, I don't even like uh, the final season that much, but just because Eric Foreman was never mentioned until the final, until episode 22. So yeah, that season is set in 1979 with the final seconds of the series being the final seconds of the decade. The very last seconds of the series show the license plate of Eric Vista Cruiser for the final time and now being tagged with the year 80 in it, signaling that the 80s have begun. Well, damn. Yeah, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> so, December 31st, 1979, the final day of the 1970s, in a bit of a clip show. Well, anyways, 
at least uh, Eric Foreman reached the end of the series and the final season. So, yeah. If you guys do not like that show, that's fine with me. So, anyways, stay tuned uh, tomorrow for more shit, for more rants and salutes.